Hello beautiful, so hello guys. Today I'm here to film a prom get ready with me look. Recreating the look. The look that I did was pretty good, except right now I'm not wearing lashes, I took them off. Um, but with the lashes, you guys will look bomb. Anyways, without further ado, let me get into this video. Hope you enjoy it, please like and subscribe. And keep on watching. For makeup, we're starting with the bare face. Um, so first I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Um, brow pencil in deep brow. So for this, I just follow the line of my natural eyebrows and then I darken it up a bit. This is not as dark as I usually like it, so. I'm probably going to go in with a pomade afterwards just to um, get it as dark as I want because like when you have a bare face it looks like it's dark enough but then you put stuff on like foundation and concealer like you lose a lot of um, color so yeah I'm gonna put on pomade next the reason I'm back with the hijab on is because I need to keep my hair covered because I'm going to be straightening it later and right now I have a hair mask on. Okay, so next what we're going to do is, next what I'm going to do is prime. I'm going to be using the um, Master Prime Face uh, Primer. Um, this is a pore minimizing primer. I don't want to use too much of this, so like literally that much. <laughs> to say that I moisturized with the Clinique 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator this one in 26 amber so this is a little bit too light for me but I like to do a lot of heavy contouring so and it oxidizes so I feel like it'll even out On, just make sure that you blend it because this um, foundation is really thick. I think it just gets soaked up in the beauty blender. But yeah. Mm -hmm. with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep Popping. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Golden. Just a little bit though, cause it is really light. Just use it in the very corners of your eyes. And then I was gonna put it on my nose, but not this lot. So then I'm just gonna go in with the other side of my Beauty Blender and blend this out. And then once you're good with how your base looks, set your under eye. I set my under eyes only with this Bare Minerals Bare Pro. Oh, it's dirty. Bare Minerals Bare Pro um, Performance Wear um, Compact in Cardamom. So I take my beauty blender in this, and then I just go like that. And I set my under eyes because this is lighter than my foundation, so it's like a highlighting type deal. So after you do that, 
Um, I like to take my air spun powder, this one, it's a translucent one, and I take a like small kabuki brush from Clinique and I dab in there and then put some powder under my eyes. So I'm gonna leave the powder there so that it will catch fallout from when I do my eyeshadow. Then I set the rest of my face with the this MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. contour with this black radiance contour palette i use this one like right here where my natural contour line is and then if it's not dark enough i add this one on top of it and then i use this one to do my nose Next, I'm gonna contour my nose. We're gonna start with our eyeshadow. This is kind of the most difficult part. So if you can get this, you're good, you're golden. So I'm gonna take the Morphe 3502 palette. This is so dirty. This has fallen so many times. I lost my brown and, or my black. Struggle. Anyways, so we're going to start with this shade right here to darken up the crease. Then I'm going to go in with this darker brown right here. In case you guys aren't getting this, I'm going to be using like 10 different types of brown. And then I'm going to take this very darkest brown in the palette. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Glitter Primer and I'm going to take that and put it um, on the back of my hand. I'm going to take a um, angled brush, this glitter. This glitter matches my dress like so perfectly. This is the MAC glitter in um, bronze. I'm going to take a flat top shishito brush and I'm going to Put it on my eye, right where I put the glue on. Then I'm going to um, do a winged liner with um, um, felt tip eyeliner. So I'm gonna go back into the True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance. And they have a really pretty highlight shade, this one. So I'm gonna take that on my finger, put it on top of my cupid's bow, on tip of my nose. I don't like to do, like I'm the only person on the, in the world who doesn't like highlight on their cheekbone. But you know, it'd be like that. And then put it um, in the corners of your eyes. I forgot to curl my own lashes and then put mascara on them and then put the balsies on. So I'm gonna use this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I'm not gonna put my lashes on right now. I put them on right now because I'm gonna be doing my hair after this and I don't want my lashes to literally melt off. But just so you can see how they look, this is the lash on and this is the lash. So you can see that I look much better with the lash on. So now I'm gonna be lining my lips in this um, NYX Professional Makeup Retractable um, Lip Liner in, oh, it just broke it. <laughs> 
in brown. And then go in with your favorite nude. This is a Revlon Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream. And on top of that, I put my favorite clear gloss. I just washed my hair. And then I used a hair mask. And then I washed that out. The hair mask that I used is the Argan Oil of Morocco Hair Mask. So this one. So to do um, my hair, I'm gonna comb it out and then blow dry it. So I'll come back when it's blow dried. I blow dried my hair. And then now I'm gonna straighten my hair. I think I'm gonna fast forward through this part, but I'm gonna watch to see how I straighten my hair. If you guys want, I can do like a in-depth like tutorial to straighten your hair. My camera died. So that's why I um, didn't film me straightening my hair, but I'm done doing it. What I did was I put a little bit of argan oil on it to make it, you know, shine. You see that? You see that shine? You see that shine? I can't get that shine anywhere else. Anyways. Um, so in the picture, what I did was like this. I like had my hair like right there. I think this is where I'm going to end the video. So that was my makeup and hair prom get ready with me 2019. I hope I can help you guys out. And yeah, if you guys want me to show you guys how I shop for my dress, I can do that as well. And yeah, see you guys next time.